Well, now I've taken my Orion images and stacked them with Deep Sky Stacker. And then I process them with Star Tools. And now for the final step, I'm gonna do some final tweaks with GIMP. And I also use GIMP to convert the TIFF file that Star, Star Tools puts out to a JPEG. So I'm gonna open up GIMP. And I will click on File, Open, look for my Orion TIFF file in the Process folder where I put it. 3.30.14, M42 Orion, number 5. Click Open. Okay, so this is the TIFF image that was uh, finalized with Star Tools. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in from 33.3% to 50% just to get a better view. Okay, so this is our image. Now the first thing I'm going to do is go to this color pull down menu and click on color balance. I want to try and get rid of some of this green here and enhance the reds and blues. So let's start with a shadow and it's, I'm going to move this top scroll bar to the right just to see what results we get and to the left okay well I can reset it to zero by clicking this reset button and I'm gonna increase the red maybe three points and if I click on this preview check box and uncheck it I can see my image before applying this change and with applying this change. And if at any point I don't like what I've done, I could click reset. Okay, so I'm going to increase the blue a little bit. Click on preview, take it off, and on and magenta I'm going to take some green off Preview. that's making this image too red keep the green at zero drop the red to two and the blue to three preview yeah, it's a slight difference, but the blues are standing out. I'm going to increase the blue a little bit. Okay, I think I like this. Next, we'll work with the midtones and do the same process. I'm going to increase the reds a little bit. Well, first, I'm going to see what this affects. Okay, so it's affecting the the mid-level color. Okay. So I'm going to increase the red a little bit. Maybe to about there. And uncheck preview. I'm going to lower the green. And increase the blue. Not so much, let's see. That's giving me more color and that's toning down the green. 
Okay, let's see what highlights does for us. Again, I'm going to go to the extremes just to see what effect it does. Okay. Start from zero and a little bit more red. Let's see preview. I'm going to tone down the green a little bit. And increase the blue. Green. Yeah, it's getting rid of some of the green. Okay, I'm going to keep this. Next step is We'll do the colors and let's go with hue saturation. Now this more or less is the same process. I'm gonna increase these numbers and see what results I get. Reset. Okay, I'm gonna Increase the overall hue a little bit. And before and after. Okay, lightness. And saturation, let's see. Okay, it makes it from black and white to extreme colorized. Okay. Four. After. Makes it a little bit brighter. More reds, more blues, and less green. I'm going to click OK. Next, under the Colors tab, I'm going to click on Brightness and Contrast. And same thing here, I'm going to move these to see what results I get. Okay, reset. I'm going to Which way do I want to go? Make it a little bit darker, maybe a negative 4. Click on Preview. And let's see what else. Click on preview. Okay, let's see what we have. I want to make the background a little bit darker. I think we'll stick with that. I'm going to go back to color and I'm going to get rid of some of the magenta and the shadows. Let's add magenta. Let's, let's see. That's too much. Okay, I think I'll keep that. And now I'm going to go with the levels command. 
And I'm gonna move this front scroll just a hair. So give it a little bit darkness. And this rear one forward a little bit. Not too much, just give it some brightness. And let's see what this Miss Center one does. Okay, preview. Uh, let me reset this. Move this back to here. And let's see. The inside's getting too bright, so I'm gonna move this back. I think that's good. Okay. Now next, I'm gonna use the curves command. Get the curves window. Now what I do is I'll click three points on this line. One about there. One in the center. And one about there. Now I'll drag this point up or down to get different effects. As long as your preview checkbox is checked, you can see the changes as you move this data point. Now it doesn't take much to move them and get some effects there. A little bit more darkness there. Okay, this one here makes it almost what it's at. I think there. Is it before and after? And now for the third data point. Okay, that really blows up the center. Drop it just a little bit. Okay, I think that will do it. Click OK. So those are the items I use here on this color pull down menu. Next I'll go to the filters. And I like to use this Gaussian blur feature. And what it does is it gives it a little blur effect that may be a little bit too much but it makes the image a lot smoother. Okay, I think the two will be fine. Okay. Now back to filters. I'm going to go to enhance. And then I go to sharpen, which is the opposite of, bur of blur. And again, scroll over to the area of the nebula. Well, you can see the difference, maybe there. And enhance this a little bit. And check preview. It's a very small difference. Okay, I'm going to click OK there, I like that. Now for one last thing I want to show you, there's this feature here under the Lights and Shadows. It's called Supernova. What it does is it lets you uh, add star flares to your image. I'm gonna add a star flare to this star here. So I want to zoom in here in this preview pane and scroll over to that star which is here. And zoom in a little bit more and click the center of the star. 
Now you see the star flare that is added. Now you could adjust it with these uh, three adjustments. I'm going to reduce the radius to about 14. Spokes, I'm going to reduce them to about 60. And the hue, I'll put it to about 3. I'm going to click OK. And that's the result that we get with a little starburst here. That some people like these, some people don't. I seem to like them sometimes, but not for this image. I'm going to remove it from this image by selecting Edit, Undo. We already have a natural starburst here, so I'm going to stick with this one. Okay, so I'm pretty much done ed editing this this image now. So I want to save it as a JPEG. So I'm going to click on File, click on Export. I want to save it to my fi Final Edits folder. I need to re rename this JPG for JPEG and select. JPEG here in this drop down menu. And click export. And it pops up this window here. I'll increase the quality to 100%. And then click on export. And that's it. I am done editing this image. Thanks for watching.